These are plankton. And these are plankton. Plankton are an essential part of life in the ocean. So how do scientists acquire these minuscule samples exactly? The answer is with plankton nets. For this leg of our Round Africa expedition, we're concerned with two types. Phytoplankton are the smallest of the two and are single cell algae that produce at least 50% of the world's oxygen. Zooplankton, on the other hand, are bigger organisms like larvae and krill and feed on phytoplankton. To capture two different sized plankton, you guessed it, you need two different sized plankton nets. Both of these nets are cast at different depths at the back of the ocean explorer and are brought up to the surface for preservation and sampling. So why? Why are we looking for plankton? Where there's plankton, there's usually marine life. Less plankton can signal that those habitats aren't as productive. So these collected samples will give us insight about the biodiversity of the waters around the seamounts we've been studying. 